I'm going to show you today some of the things that I use for drawing. So you might have seen in some of my pre previous videos, you might have seen this little thing, which is called a ruling pen. And um, yeah, I find these really useful. You can dip it in the ink and you can alter the width of it. So you can get thin lines or thick lines. And that's something that I quite often like to use. So I'll just show you what that does. It's, it can be a bit unpredictable, which I kind of like. So to get a wider line, you flatten the pen and you bring it up to make it a thinner line. And then it runs out of ink and you dip it in again. Um, so that is quite nice to give a traditional look to drawing. Um, when I'm out and about, I like to use a, a calligraphy pen. Um, I usually use that in combination with a very thin fine liner. The, I like a 0.5, something between a 0.5 and a 1 millimeter. I think this is probably a one millimeter. Um, yeah, that gives a different quality of line. I do a sketch. I never use pencil really. I go straight in with pen, and I leave it all my mistakes. Um, but I decide which lines I like, so I kind of make those lines stronger, um, so they stand out more. So yeah, the, the italic pens are quite nice to use. And also you can turn them on their side to get a thinner line as well as the thick line. So you can vary the how you draw. That's one of my favourites. This is something I've only just got recently. This is called a food A pen. This is a calligraphy fountain pen. And I don't know if you can see it here. I'll try and put in a close up photo. The nib at the end is bent and um, it's like that when you buy it. Um, so similar to the italic pen, you can get a thick line by lying flat. You can also draw on the nib to get a thinner line. So I'm just experimenting with this at the moment and it's quite interesting to see what you can get with it. Um, So yeah, I, I did a bit of research into calligraphy and fountain pens for drawing and um, this is kind of a, a budget one really. This is about, well it's £20, it's not cheap, but some of them were going into hundreds. This is made by Sailor and um, it's called a Fude de Manon pen. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll do some more stuff with that in the next few weeks and let you know how I go on. If I'm not really planning to do any drawing, I always have some pens on, on me. If nothing else, I just use a biro and you can get some interesting lines and then I sometimes combine it with something else. Um, and sometimes I like it, you know, when it's obvious that it is a biro, I sometimes use a blue biro and a black italic pen together. I like that colour contrast. Um, and I also use a brush sometimes. So that again would be with ink and depending on the brush you can get different different types of marks. Um, and it would be similar to watercolour. You can get some very big or very wide brushes. So it is nice to experiment with different things. So yeah, I just wanted to show you some of the things that I use and um, what I'm experimenting with at the moment, which is my new pen. So thank you for watching.